What's up, lads? We have Luke here, and he played a phenomenal deck here for uh, the Panger WCQ, hosted by NCG. Uh, awesome event. Want to thank Adam Stanex for running such a great old event. So, uh, yeah, well, how did you get on, Luke? Uh, I went 7 and 0. I went undefeated. Um, my first time I ever won a regionals. Second time, <laughs> second time I ever topped, but the first time I ever won a regionals, yeah. Uh, congratulations. Oh, congratulations, so man. Oh. Right. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I played True King Dinosaurs. I'm just known. <laughs> in the community we're playing dinosaurs I'm just known as that person who just never gives up on, on the deck um, I thought I'd just go into the tournament and be like I'll just, just have fun and play just see all my friends around and I did not expect to win but as soon as I got halfway through the, through the games I was beating like these really really great players and I was just like I think I can actually do this. I I'd, say, I can beat I'd it. say for the most part, their jaws were hitting the floor. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because people are like, I don't know what this deck does, so I don't know what to side for. And I was like, this is exactly why I'm up at this table because nobody knows how to side for the deck because they did not expect to face this deck. And it was just so fun to play against all these people. And there was such a positive energy around everybody like coming up to me, and be like, oh man, I'm rooting for you to get this. And it was just such a such a great feeling. It was really really good. And I just yeah, it's like a thank everybody that was just rooting for me and it's just. Where it was there for me because it really, really helped me towards the end. I was just such a great feeling. I'm rocking a t shirt, I see. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the last world, get yeah. The stuffs. Yeah. yeah, I'll just go ahead and get into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, let's do A lot of people are asking for it, so. Um, I played three over after because it's the best, yeah, card. best card. Please don't touch this Konami because it didn't do anything wrong for this deck. Just just Dragon Link's banned, please. Uh, three Miscellaneous Aurus. This is the. This is honestly the best card. Uh, I had a few people trying to beer with me, and I just have a, a board full of dinosaurs. Uh, you just bait them. We like in a main phase, anything, and they're like, "Oh, in the beer room." I was like, oh, "Okay, I'll change this. Your dinosaurs do not get touched. Uh, if you have a link monster or something that's not a dinosaur, that'll just get wiped." And they get in the beer room. You get a big token. Well, you don't. You won't get actually a big token because none of your things are going to get tributed. But you might just get a token. And then you, if you have conductor, you can just attack in the beer room or just set in the beer room. It's it's pretty easy. Uh, <laughs> also saves you from uh, saving with Sky Strikers as well. Uh, go second. It uh, stops Widow Anchor, stops Impermanences. Uh, yeah, Impermanence with this guy. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people think I'm playing Dragon Link as well. So I'm just like over after effect and they're like chain effect later. I'm just like chain this and they're like, oh, oh what is this deck? <laughs> that's that's when it starts to get bad. Uh, three Baby Sarasaurus because it's the best card to destroy off Diagram. Also followed by the Petite Tyranodon. Um, this is like another copy of this except it, it, it goes for over after but you need these to get other copies of themselves yeah the ba baby's better yeah using the babies to pop babies and special babies is <laughs> pretty ridiculous play one megalo smasher um this is funny i believe uh, that, that that saved your ass a few times against sky striker didn't yeah it? sky striker uh he had anchors and didn't have um, removal so he was sitting on the board for like three or four turns just big boy 2K. Yeah, two k yeah 2k yeah just um <laughs> Eventually uh, went to game three with Rigor, but yeah, this this was a, a fun card to play. It's also a target for one of the, the druggings that I'll get into. Uh, one Rex, this is kind of yeah, like pretty standard for the list. Kind of, yeah, it's kind of a garnet. You, you probably just send this to the grave if you have more of board, and it's just used for rank plays. One Aolo, um, oh, yeah, a <laughs> uh, big flex. No, not really. Um, yeah, this was just used for for synchro plays. That's a good open to Trishula for Calamities. Yeah, yeah, Trishula and uh, other Synchros that I play. I, just, I think I played two more, one more. Uh, the big boss monster, card to save me all day, Ultimate Conductor. MVP. I believe that won you the whole tournament at the end. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, it made me win against Sky Striker. Uh, I, you actually pitched one for a Twin Twister and then summoned the other one. Yeah, yeah I pitched yeah. one for Twin Twister. Uh, had an over after. I think I summoned, I added this. And I had another one. I think I had a miscellaneous. I just ditched the miscellaneous, and then summoned this. And he used Kina, and had eighty three hundred. But this and an over after was enough damage to make me win on time. So, and I think he actually summoned the ray back as well, which you could have just continued yeah, he, the attack. Yeah, but swing. I think he realised what he had done at that stage. Yeah, you could just swing again, and <laughs> it's great as well against them. Um, like Orcus as against well. Orcus because yeah. you just attack the Galatea and if they want to protect it with the Ding they're going to have to uh, detach the material uh, and then you can just attack the Ding uh, or set the Nobody Ding but that's exactly well, what you just do set the Ding and just, set it, and just send it to the graveyard and they can't do anything about that 
and attack the um, the Galatea and just keep wiping the board. It's just I made a mistake of uh, one of the rounds. I think it was against um, Luke Coogan. He was playing uh, Luna Light Orcus. He actually finished second, so well done to him. Uh, I had a Link Monster in the Link Zone and I pointed to his Galatea, so I couldn't destroy everything uh, that turn because uh, I had to get rid of my own Link Monster. Uh, so next turn, I just destroyed my Link Monster and to set his uh, his monsters, and then this Galatea can be destroyed, and I just just keep attacking. Um, then two Overtex Quatlus. I was thinking about playing one, but uh, two actually saved me a couple of times because um, sending one to summon one was important against uh, cards like that. Just depend on spells like Sky Striker or um, like Luna Lights. Um, it's also, I actually hard summon this twice, so <laughs> I use miscellaneous, uh, what people don't know is that you hard summon this, you uh, banish, uh, uh, shuffle back in five dinosaurs that are banished, and you can just special summon this from your hand. Uh, in the grind game, it's just really, really ridiculous to, uh, to summon this back, and yeah, just destroy a dinosaur to uh, negate your spell trap. It doesn't have to be discard, it can be any other dinosaur that you have. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, True Kings, so... People probably won't like this ratio. I played three fire and three water. I just maxed out on these. I needed to see calamities. This deck is just calamities turbo basically. You just want to just always have a calamities on the board. The reason being because I just expected there was going to be a lot of lunar lights uh, and Orcus. Main priority was to make this call dark and just 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 sit on it and then wait a turn or two and then just drop for the OTK because usually when you make a calamities. They can't recover. Uh, they can't make establish a board, and you have enough resources to just completely uh, end the game there and then. And then another MVP was the Gammas and the Driver. Drew this once. That was great. <laughs> Only just once though. That's pretty good. Well, considering considering seven rounds. Yeah. Um, I played this because I'll get to the next part why I played this. It's just for like it's a good bait for diagram as well. If you have Diagram and no cards on field, you like affect the Diagram and they try chain an Ogre or they chain Ash, you just chain Gamma and you just completely win the deal from there. Uh, main reason why I played Gamma is because I played this spicy card. <laughs> I played three Paw of Extravagance. Uh, and that's going to be an Ash Magnet. This, yeah, this is a bait magnet as well. Uh, I fa like with People with, with Orcus is, I just activate this as the first card and they're like I have no idea what you're playing so I'm just going to crescendo and negate it or they're going to just straight up negate it or whatever they have um, a couple of times as well where people ask me I'm like chain gamma and then you draw two and you have a full like you just have an, a, a massive board to uh, continue playing the game plus well you're guaranteeing you're not going to draw into the driver then obviously. exactly and you're drawing two cards and this, so this a lot of people just pot like, agreed for the deck yeah and people just always say that this deck is bricky this deck is bricky i'm not playing this deck but this card honestly saved me so many times i cannot cannot like say how good this card is i really really recommend people playing this card shout outs to bill by the way yeah oh yeah yeah i was gonna get to that but yeah shout outs to bill for um for loaning me the extravagances they really really saved my ass and okay so yeah three diagrams this is Good oh, card. It's, oh yeah, it's, it's it's a pretty good card, and then another diagram. Um, yeah. I wasn't really reliant on diagram. I just really needed the over after to go off. Really, that's the, the main priority of the card. But yeah, other cards: three fossil egg, self-explanatory as well. Or three copies of over after. Yeah, three copies of over after. Or if you have a, uh, another thing, is just add miscellaneous source if you already have the over after, and then it's just blanket protected. They just know not to hand wrap you. Uh, two double evolution pill. It's it's grand. Like I could summon Pankertops off this. Like I don't have Pankertops in the main deck, but you can summon Pankertops off if you're going second, or you can summon an Overtex, or just oh, someone a conductor, conductor if you want to just completely Bushman. end the game. Exactly. Uh, last card is Foolish Burial. This is just to send an Overtex for another one. I probably changed this for one Pankertops, uh, just to have them in the main deck because I didn't see Foolish all day and it wasn't the worst thing in the world. Wasn't really needed. No, it wasn't really needed. So extra deck. I'll go this way. I play three calamities because I play extravagance. Uh, this card was the best card of the whole day. Nobody knew exactly how to out it because there is not much cards you can out. And what I what do you basically do is is that 
you summon this and standby phase don't do anything main phase don't do anything as soon as your opponent activates a card or summons a monster then you activate it because they can't impermanence you uh, I just played around impermanence all day because I just didn't want this to not go off same with Widow Anchor as well but like if they draw that they draw it I did make it against Guy Striker just, just so I could uh, try stop uh, the the Guy Striker's uh, Link to off too laggy uh, couldn't play three because didn't need you don't need three you just need to make the one did you actually game. make it that much I did yeah I did oh, I, I, but I made this more I made Dogga more the Dogga is like the monster negate the monster negate is a lot more important uh, I didn't face Thunder all day but this and a Conductor is almost just end game for um, Thunder Dragons because they just can't out a Dogga on this uh, also a funny thing actually about the Calamities is that uh I used the effect and called Dark and got my board super polyed. I got my conductor and my uh, calamity super polyed, and he used all of his resources to try kill me. I was like, "You can't attack." He's like, "What?" I was like, "You can't attack because calamity's effect means you can't attack." And he's like, "Oh, okay." And next one, I just summon over after and just summon conductor and just kill. Full combo. Yeah. <laughs> so I summon a uh, lambda and land fornicus. The, uh, this should be a second lambda. This card is ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> you summon this, and then if you're like if you have a gamma in your hand and your opponent tries to imbue you, you just gamma them from your hand and just completely end the duel there and then. Or I had double gamma in my hand. I used the gamma, summoned a driver, made this, baited out another hand trap, summoned, use a gamma again in the same turn because gamma's not once per turn. Um, yeah, I'd probably play two or three. Uh, I played a, another funny card. I played a Pendus deck. What people what people don't know is is that whatever is underneath this does piercing damage. So if you summon a conductor under this, it does piercing damage. So you just don't even use the effect of sending. You just use the effect. Oh, you just keep attacking everything and just do a, a lot of damage. Um, and get on to the synchros. So two. I don't know why this is at two three again, but yeah, two Trishula and one Chambara. This is just for going to OTK. This That's and conductor is just like damage. so much damage. And then the last two cards are Stu Starving Venoms because I saw it super folly because that's a really good card. Yeah, side deck. So the side deck, three Panker Tops. I saw this almost all the time. Uh, you can search it from Over After, which a lot of people just don't realise it and just forget. Or as you said, you can summon it off Double <coughs> Evolution Pill. Yeah, you can summon it off Double Evolution Pill. You can destroy a petite pteranodon and summon this it can't attack but you can just use the effect to destroy something that's really really annoying on the field best card <laughs> three twin twisters I believe this came up in the final round as well in the, yeah in the final round uh, I opened double twin twisters and uh, against Guy Striker who had four set and it was like there can be only one there can be only one and like some other Even cards Widow Anchor, Widow Anchor yeah stuff that really really would just completely end, end the game three impermanents sorry this a lot as well this is for Lunar Light Orcus I couldn't main it. I just didn't have space for it in the main deck because I just planned to go first all the time and just have stuff on the field. But yeah, this is for Lunar Light Orcus. Nibiru does nothing against the deck because they just make as a thought. As soon as they make the Mermaid, you just drop this and they they can't really do much. They can recover a small bit, but they just can't establish the full Orcus combo. And then three Super Poly. For Starving Venom as well. This is mainly again for Orcus. Just either pure Orcus or um, Dragon Link too. Dragon Link didn't yeah. come up. Didn't Thunder face Dragon. It. Thunder Dragon as well. Yeah, also didn't come up. I didn't face. Th yeah, it's kind of sad I didn't face Thunder Dragons. But you would not play it. No, it exactly. Way. Yeah, yeah, I definitely would say this. So. I don't know why this card is at three. Yeah, this card should not be at three. This card, like, I have so many bad memories of this card getting used against me. So I just started to play it. <laughs> and finally, three Nibiru. Didn't side it all day, funny enough, because I just faced Luna Orcus and I didn't face Alma Greats either. If I faced Alma Greats, I'd play this, or if I faced uh, Pure Orcus, I'd side this. But yeah, yeah sure, you, you had a couple of obscure <coughs> matchups like you. I believe you played Grand Maju. Yeah, I played Grand Maju, and he, he finished sixth, so he just bubbled for the. I fa faced him round one, and he just bubbled for the rest of the day. I think his name was Adam. So well done to Adam. No, oh, congrats for him. Yeah, um, he's super nice dude as well. Uh, yeah, that's fifteen. That's that's the whole the whole deck. Can um, you can you remember any of your matchups? Uh, any any stand out? Any did you play against any big names or? Um, 
I faced Heroes, Grimadu, I faced Orcus, I faced Luke Coogan who played Orcus, I faced Thomas Rose, um, also playing Orcus, and then I faced, I'm trying to think of exactly what the other ones, oh, Sky Striker as well, Dean, he was a really nice guy. That's um, it. It's actually always hard when you're put on the spot. Yeah, all the guys, yeah, all the guys as well. Ola again, super. He's so nice. So That's nice. it. Shout out to Ola. He yeah, beat me. Yeah, Ola, you're so nice. <laughs> and then the last one. There was one more. Uh, ben Coleman as well. Yeah, he oh. also tops as well. Yeah, he, shout out to Ben. Really, actually, really spicy, played... spicy in vocalist. Yeah, I didn't know exactly what he probably should have beaten me. There was a big misplay that he done, and he got really upset over it. But he still topped though. So well done, Ben. Um. So, would you make any changes, major changes to the deck? So yeah, the, deck, the only deck? thing I just would do is just take out the foolish and put in the uh, put in the one pack, the one pack in the main deck. You could fit one card in. I don't know. You're putting it upstairs on one side deck or something. Do you think you'd leave the Nibiru in just in case? Yeah, no, I, I'd still keep the Nibiru in. Yeah, it's still a really, really good card, but it just didn't come it didn't up come me. up on the day. It yeah, didn't come up at all. It didn't face any danger combo decks or anything like that. So, fair, well, fair. I faced I faced combo decks, but the Nibiru just was irrelevant for it. That's it. Well, any any shout outs to anybody? Um, like shout out to Andy, who's behind the camera, for helping me with uh, the testing and all the testing. Shout out to the lads who helped me test as well. You know who you are. Um, big shout out to everybody who was at the event. You're all super super helpful. Um, it's an awesome turnout, and I mean, I have to say, uh, when when you went into your battle phase and. The crowd, the le- the roar they let. I haven't heard a crowd cheer for the winner of a tournament before the winner was announced. That was unbelievable. There must have been 35, 40 players, uh, which is it doesn't sound like a lot to maybe some of you guys over in different countries, but in our in, over here in Ireland, when we're getting turnouts of 60, 70 players plus, I mean that's a big turnout for us. And the meta can be quite difficult. Okay, yeah, you played quite a few rogue matchups and stuff, but usually after round two or three, if you you've you've taken down the first two rounds, you're going to be having a hard hard time grinding yeah, your way to the top. Yeah, it gets really really like the first few rounds are the toughest because you face all of these rogue, de- rogue decks. And it's just a constant uphill battle. But as soon as you get up to the top, you start facing the meta decks and you it's all the stuff that you've tested for. That's a real, real uh, challenge. It's the stuff that you've tested for. So there'll be um, a, lot, a lot of people waiting on this uh, this profile video to go up yeah, now. I believe yeah. you're getting bombarded with messages. Yeah, people just text me saying, what did you play? What did you play? What did you play? Did you play dinosaurs? Oh my God, you played dinosaurs? And I was like, yeah. That's for um, sure. Even before the video started, you showed me like at least 15 people. Gives a list, gives a list, yeah, gives a list. Just, uh, I don't know. Hopefully this <laughs> helps people and they 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 pick they choose to play this list. But um, who else do I have shout out? Uh, shout outs to uh, to Jared as well. Um, Jared, you know who you are. Thanks for helping me with this extravagance list. He was the first person to actually play this, um, and I told him I shout him out because yeah, he he t- he told me what to not play and what to play. Um, who else is there? Bill for loaning me the cards. Yeah, 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 again, thanks again for Bill for loaning me the extravagances. I really, really needed them. I need to get my own now because this deck is pretty That's fun to play. Get that wallet ready. Yeah. yeah. Uh, shout out to NCG as well. They hosted a really good event down up uh, down in Bangor. It's a, it a bad old drive. It's about two hours, which a lot of people I like, are watching from America be like, oh, two hour drive is nothing. Um, we literally drove from like the middle of the country up to the very top. And we got lost on the way home. Yeah, we, we did get lost, yeah, but we got some some food and stuff on the way back. And it was fun. It was an adventure, put it that yeah, way. Yeah, it was, it was. But, um, yeah, that's everything, yeah. I oh. hope you guys enjoyed anyways. Well, well, well done to you, Luke. Um, well, well-deserved win. Um, we look forward to seeing more deck profiles from you in the future. Cheers.